Good to see you, everyone, and good day. I'm Hanna from Star Stuff, and today we're going to talk about the next generation of social games. And what I mean by that is, what is social in social games currently? Um, we believe strongly at Star Stuff that games should be a lot more social than they currently are, and that they could be more accessible uh, and reach more people um, also with the creation, and they could be as easy as and accessible as YouTube, but at least a thousand times more fun and social than the social media we currently have. Um, so our dream is to have custom social games as the social platform of tomorrow. And that is already happening. We see that in Roblox, we see that in Minecraft, we see it in Fortnite. Social games have existed since the dawn of humanity. <laughs> Even when we were still in caves, what, what do you need for a game? You need a stick in another person and you can paint on walls and that's a game. And now we're going to the next generation, pun intended, with multimodal interactive generative AI in 3D. And the 3D generation is big. There are over 3 billion people under 35 years old who have mobile devices. 90% of them play video games. 69% of them are creators. Over 70% of 16 to 40, 34 year olds pay for digital content monthly. They spend over seven hours a day online, regardless of how we feel about it. They socialize more in games than in the physical world and in social media. So what can we do to create an easier, better, more accessible future for these people, the 3D generation? We have a really exciting day today because last year we launched our company and today we launch our open beta for our product. So let's see what it's about. We all have our stuff, whether it's your cat, plush shark, toy horses, Carl Sagan, or your synth collection. We get it. We all have our things. And honestly, we spend a lot of time on them. The interests vary, but every waking minute, people everywhere spend hours on end online watching, playing, and creating stuff that makes them tick. But what if I told you that it doesn't have to be just pics and videos anymore? This is the stuff. Take a pic of your favorite stuff, make a game, prompt it up to your imagination, and boom, you went from static to magic in seconds. Anything you can imagine, you can play. Let's go. Wanna turn your rainbow bun trampoline dreams into a multiplayer world? Done. Wanna ride your Ikea shark through a coral party fish royale style? We got you. Star Stuff makes it happen. One click, that's it. And you're playing your world as your playground. It's as easy as YouTube, as fast as posting on TikTok, and more fun than your generic Roblox potato. Turn your static stuff into an epic multiplayer adventure. Your photos, your interests, your everyday content, but turbocharged with Star Stuff AI. Consider your imagination unleashed. Star Stuff. Make stuff happen. Open beta is what's up. Get in. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so here's the QR code. I want to get in and see what's up. Uh, we actually made a, a Star Stuff, um, this lush community uh, on the platform. And you can go and collect term sheets um, in there. So we have a term sheet game. Uh, I think all the startups here might be very happy about that. 
Um, so yeah, and also investors, obviously. Um, you can also drop your actual term sheets there if you want. Because um, you can just take a picture of one and just drop it there. It's that easy. It takes a few seconds, so you have no excuses. Um, so this game over here that we see was created by my six-year-old daughter in about 10 minutes on my phone. Now, she doesn't know how to read or write, yet she can take photos on my phone. This is the IKEA plush toy, Blowhigh, um, as the character. Then she described she wants to have rainbow buns and make them trampolines. So that's what happened. Then she has her favorite toys, Minions, there as collectibles, and now it's a game. It's multiplayer, it's accessible instantly, in seconds, and for everyone, uh, this is what's up. This is where we are in terms of generative AI right now. This is a massive breakthrough we're speaking about. We don't need code. No library assets, no other tools. Literally seconds, just a few clicks and you have a game. This is a battle royale um, made out of fish. <laughs> and here is a horse enthusiast who loves horses. Um, and they watch a lot of YouTube videos about them online daily. Well, now uh, she's super excited to, to be able to ride the horses on the platform and create games, feed the horses, and do all the stuff that they want with their friends together. And of course, they can create these things together as well. So here is one Steve J who's putting an atomic bomb into the hydraulic press. No people were actually harmed in this process as it is all digital. However, this is what we're capable of doing in the digital realm with our turbo boosted AI. The world goes a little bit nuts as you can see and yeah, it was a crazy thing. <laughs> And here's another community event um, by our um, uh, creator friends, just Imus, and they were there uh, with their community. They've hosted tons of events there, uh, created their own rooms, created their own uh, experiences. This is from their virtual office. Um, they're just goofing around. There were about 500 people participating in these events. Um, and this is just one example of what people are doing. So, we believe that in the games industry, we have really high standards in terms of, we want to create the world of Warcraft and everything has to be super sleek and you know, everything has to be mega triple A and that's all great, I love it, I'm a gamer. However, players like my daughter just want to have fun and they want the speed and ease of doing these things like they would do, taking photos and sharing them with their friends. And we believe strongly that this is the next generation of social games. Making interactive 3D content has never been this easy and this fast with mobile optimization. This is a video I took from Maldives um, a few weeks back. And now it is a 3D world, and I created this uh, rigged character. I said, I want a unicorn-colored mermaid. Um, there it is, in the Maldives. I'm actually right there behind in the water floating. That's actually me. Um, so yeah. So the biggest players in tech are all racing to dominate AI. But actually stern it, turning static content into interactive playable 3D that scales to millions of users seamlessly, also mobile, is not a walk in the park. However, we have solved this. I repeat, we have solved this. This is massive, and we believe that this will be the next big thing, and we'll call Roblox, thank you. Um, so yeah, big stuff. And next, uh, currently we have an average session time uh, of two and a half hours per session. 
and now we're going live to our open beta, and we'll see what happens. Here's uh, some of our tech. We are running out of time. You can come and talk to me later. Here's our team. We know what we're doing. So please come talk to us, and let's make this big. OK? Let's make this happen. Thank you. <laughs>